Why do you think it would be called a two-faced cookie? Maybe it was like to show someone that they're like two-faced and they lie a lot or something like that. Dude, you nailed it. That's exactly it. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Hello, what is your name? I'm Justin. I'm Gigi. Today, we are talking about rebellious foods. What? What is a rebel? A rebel is like someone that like doesn't follow the rules. It means someone who is rebelling against something, usually tyranny. What's tyranny? Tyranny means dictator. Throughout history, people have used food to stick it to the man. <laughs> That sounds really weird. So we're just gonna try foods that fought back? Kind of. Wait, so what? That makes no sense though. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell that bad, okay, it's not that bad. This is called soup jumeau, otherwise known as Haitian freedom soup. Honestly, I I'm not a pretty big soup person, and this was pretty good. There's definitely carrot in it. Do you taste the sweet taste of freedom? A long, long time ago, French people made the people in Haiti their slaves, and they made them make this soup. But they said, you're not allowed to eat it. This is only for us, the French. Mm. The French sound like rich people. When there was freedom, the people in Haiti had a big dance party and they made this soup. I don't know what freedom tastes like, but if this is freedom, it tastes good. What are these leaf things? Those are collard greens. Collard greens? <laughs> what you guys are eating right now is a dish called Poppin' John. Papa John? Papa John? Poppin' John. Uh-oh. It went straight to his brain, now he can't stop hopping. Ooh, it's spicy. When slaves were stolen from Africa and brought to America, a lot of the times the slaves would get really sick. They were eating a bunch of foods that they were not familiar with, and this was sort of a way of maintaining a little bit of home. I like how they kind of like made it with all the food from their homeland, I guess. I think you haven't even taken a bite. Is it good? It's good. Can we see another bite? No. Is there a food that reminds you of home? There's paneer, chole java. Chickpeas is basically chole. So this reminded me of that and it also kind of tastes like it. So I was like, oh, is this that? How do you think it tastes? I think it's great for the culture, but I don't think it's for me. I wish there was like more flavor in it. Bagels? This isn't a bagel, it's a croissant. A long, long time ago, people in Austria were ruled by the Ottoman Empire. That sounds like a couch. What shape is the bread? Mustache. Like a half circle? The crescent is actually on the flag of the Ottoman Empire. So the people in Austria were like, oh, you see that? We're gonna make an entire food just to make fun of you. Oh! And then they said, okay, okay, oh. now I get it, now I get it. I understand. It. I wanna try throwing this, see if it boomerangs back at me. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> It looks like a cupcake thing. Oh, there's nothing in the inside. <laughs> what does it taste like? Those sugar cookies that you can get with the pink icing on it. I've never had it before, but that is so good. Oh my gosh. Why do you think it would be called a two-faced cookie? One face, there's two face. One side is obviously brown and one side is pink, so it's two face. Also, since there's like resistance food or whatever, maybe it was like to show someone that they're like two-faced and they lie a lot or something like that. Dude, you nailed it. That's exactly it. Oh, let's go! <laughs> there was a politician in South Africa. He promised the right to vote to women and people of color. His lie was that he was going to give everyone the right to vote, but in reality, he was not. Yeah, exactly. Because people were so upset, 
They made this cookie to make fun of him. As they should, that is not okay. Interesting while tasty. What'd you think of today's episode? I think it was great. I did not know that food had so much history behind it. It was tasty to have foods from completely different countries and the idea of rebelling with foods was an extremely interesting idea. Have you ever been a rebel in your life?